We are also going to dehydrate some serrano peppers, but they're not red. By the way, we are watching Becky from Acre Homestead on YouTube because she is going to be dehydrating peppers and so am I, so I'm trying to figure out what the hell to do. And these are all of my homegrown peppers. We have some mini red jalapenos. They're all going to be dehydrated and probably turned into, I don't know, dried chili flakes, I guess. I don't know. I only got two trays of those peppers. They weren't looking super hot or near pump. I love it. But the idea of putting it in a Mylar bag that I can't see the contents of it, I just have a feeling that things would get lost. I wouldn't use them versus this. Yes, I'm leaving the seeds in. So that's why I like to store my freeze dried stuff in glass jars. Now, all we're going to do is I went and I pulled out my dehydrator trays. I have not been using my dehydrators hardly all this year because I've been using my freeze dryer, but I think that there definitely are good applications for the dehydrator versus the freeze dryer. And I'm going to get these red serrano peppers dehydrated. And I'm going to turn them into red pepper flakes. I was going to make hot sauce with them, but friends, you have seen how much hot sauce I made this year. And I think that even with all the gift giving I'm going to do with a lot of this hot sauce, I made enough hot sauce for Josh and I to enjoy for right here. And also give hot sauce away to my heart's content. So what I'm going to do is turn these into red pepper flakes because I love red pepper flakes. And I'm excited to have some locally sourced peppers. I didn't grow these ones. These were peppers that I bought from the local farmer. And we're going to get these dehydrated. But I was just watching the Flower Hill Farms Lakes video. And she turned her jalapenos into jalapeno poppers for the freezer. I have a ton of jalapenos. I have a ton of hot peppers. We're going to go ahead and do that. I wasn't sure how I was going to I'm not going to do that because I don't have jalapenos like that. Not this year anyway. Next year. Next year we might have jalapenos like that. Turn it into a yummy appetizer and kind of my favorite, you know, food preservation. Born into the barn, huh? Okay, those were our serranos that were store bought. We're just gonna let Becky play in the background and uh, I only got two trays of peppers. Deal with these peppers. Our homegrown peppers. And I think instead of slicing the little ones in half, I might just leave them whole. I might slice them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how hard it is to do. Vegetables need to be dehydrated at 125 degrees. And I'm going to put that on for yeah, 24 we're hours. We're going to leave them whole. And I'll take care of them tomorrow. My freeze dryer, normally I like to run it twice before rear pump owner. It's time to change the oil. So it's telling me I need to change the oil. I have yet to change the oil on this since I've had it. These jalapenos are red ones. Really um, we'll slice these, these in half because they're bigger. Which is really easy to do. You just click defrost. You these are grown in our Normally cute like little arrow garden. These nails are making a part of shit. Sure to 
If you're just joining me today, I am processing our homegrown peppers from our arrow garden. And I have Becky from Acre Homestead in the background over there. Between Becky of Acre Homestead and Laura and Aaron of Garden Answer, I've learned so much 
in the past year about gardening and plants and landscape. I mean, obviously, if you follow me at all, you know Let's not. Now we're going to have this come up to a boil. And once it boils, we're going to water bath can it for 20 minutes. Let's I'm so glad I have gloves on right now because there are blend it up. hella seeds in these peppers because they are, I think these are Thai chilies. I am going to pressure can this okay. in here, I think. I am once again the proud owner of a stick blender. Thank you. You know who you are. I really appreciate it. And I talk about it all the time that a stick blender is one of the most important kitchen equipment essentials. Oh my god, my mom used to have a flipping hand blender. Stick blender. So we are going to use it all the time. You can see that. Look at all those seeds on my knife. Like gloves, y'all. Gloves. Jalapeno poppers. If I have too much Comment for below. these jalapenos, I can put, I can stuff some of the other kind of peppers I have. I'm just going to add the rest of this cream I cheese. I honestly don't think I've ever had them. So I don't know when I will have time to use that. So I can stuff some of the not so spicy peppers too, if I have too much filling. So we're going to turn this on, but before I do, I'm going to season it with some garlic salt mm -hmm. and some black pepper. Mm -hmm. And yes, I know my chilies are green and red and orange and yellow and purple. That just means that the flavor and the heat levels will hopefully be gone still. Okay, let's get these onto our tray. Work but with me now. I have the thought while well, I'm chopping those peppers. I'm happy with the thickness of this tomato sauce. Why don't I get my electric pressure canner out and I start pressure canning this sauce while I have the stove full? Because I can have this pressure canner working for me while you know this is still simmering and that is on the stove. Because I only have one stove top pressure canner. So what I'm going to do is fill up. Jars. 
Homegrown mini jalapeno. I let it get red. It's hot. Like they even smell spicy. And for those of you wondering, yes, I'm going to be dehydrating these in my Instant Vortex Plus because it can do that because it's amazing and I love it. As long as my power doesn't go out again. Breadcrumbs on the top of jalapeno burgers? What? Well, I mean, she just cut them in half instead of doing like, do them whole, I guess. I mean, don't ask me. So how many of y'all are going through a windstorm right now? We are. We lost power for about an hour earlier. Hour, hour, 15 minutes, something like that. Um, so the girls and I, they played outside for a few minutes. And then we went for a drive because we're nosy and we like to see destruction. And, uh... We didn't see too much destruction, which was, I mean, a great thing. Yes. But kind of a bummer. Go into a bag, and be kind of fun. Um, but by the time and we got home, and it was only maybe ten, fifteen minute drive, you know, if that. We had power back on. So Addie's all excited. She has to get back on the game with her cousin. I could process these peppers and then get dinner started. I don't know if I want to make chicken tiki masala or like a spaghetti carbonara for tonight. One is a slow cooker, one is um, stove top. Both look delicious. Whichever one I don't make tonight, though, we'll be making tomorrow.
Every time she says that, I kind of give them the content of your water. <laughs> What's matter, Bree? Now for this one, we actually have to seal the lid. We were water bath. Hey, Ad, are you in a match? We didn't have to close the lid. Are you in a match? Oh, okay. We're going to let it vent for 10 minutes, just like this one. We're going to have steam come out of this. It's going to vent for 10 minutes. Please, Becky. A few of you guys have messaged me and told me you have gotten your electric pressure canner and that you love it. And that just warms my heart because I love that thing and I think it was worth everything. Whoa! The following day, I didn't get to all the canning this night. I had one more round I needed to do. And so it was just so nice being able to throw those last few jars cold from the refrigerator into my electric pressure can of cold water and I could just process them and get other things done. So now that everything is canning here, I have the rest of them ready to go into the next canner. We have reached pressure with our electric pressure canner. I'm going to start doing some cleaning and just finishing processing these hot peppers. I did not have the energy to chop these hot peppers by hand. So I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and just do a rough chop into the food processor, throw it into a Ziploc bag. I ran out of my quart reusable Ziploc bag, so I just put it in one of these freezer bags. And then I can just grab, you know, a couple tablespoons of hot peppers that are pre-diced to throw into my recipes all winter long. And these are pretty hot, so I won't need too many of them. And then I probably should have been wearing gloves when I did this, but I'm so tired of putting gloves on. I Girl, just, yes. That's the first thing I did. <laughs> and then oh, I grab me some gloves. Of those egg bites, and half the egg bites I threw in the refrigerator, and half the egg bites I put in the freezer. So Josh has been really enjoying those egg bites. I haven't taken any of the egg bites out of the freezer. These are the ones I put in the freezer. I'm not sure how we're going to like these egg bites coming out of the freezer. I will keep you guys posted. I'm sure they're going to be just fine. And then we got three of these two quart bags full of sweet peppers. Yeah, oh, this is a lot of pepper. I hope you can see on the floor that I spilled my entire compost bowl onto the floor. <laughs> and I have a huge mess. Typically, Josh is the one who takes care of the floors. He bought himself a really fancy vacuum and a really fancy electric mop thing, and he loves to clean the floors. But I could not Josh can clean this clean mess for a So I went ahead and I took the time to sweep up all of these pepper seeds from my mess from spilling the compost bowl. It was pretty disappointing when I spilled that bowl because this was a mess. So I am going to clean up the bulk of the mess, and then Josh will come in and he will sweep and mop or vacuum and mop, I should say, using these fun new toys. If your husband ever comes to you and says they want to buy a fancy vacuum, let, let them, them, because they will love to vacuum for you. Let them. One thing we did not get to today was blending up our hot sauce and processing and finishing, adding the little extra ingredients and finishing these fermented hot sauces. What I can do, the cool thing about ferments is I can throw these in the refrigerator. I'm going to put these in my garage fridge. And that's going to basically slow down the fermentation process to a whole. Okay. So get these it. are very fermented. It's going to be this in the trash. They smell like uh, I don't have a compost bowl uh, like Becky. I don't have chickens to give these to you, unfortunately. I mean, I'm probably not, I, well, I'll probably taste this hot sauce, but I'll probably throw my head off. But I can put these in basically like a freeze.
and then I'll bring you guys over so you can see this because it's cool Ooh. okay so break a nail while we do this here and let me flip you guys around okay so on my cute little instapot vortex plus we can air fry roast broil bake reheat or dehydrate which is what we're gonna do so we touch it 120 when you actually need to go up to 125 Ooh. four we're gonna go these aren't very big and I think Becky did hers for like 12 hours I think we're gonna go for eight and a half which really just means that I'm not gonna be able to use this guy for eight and a half hours but that's okay start and then we have a cute little light button we push it we can see everything in thought. As long as nothing's blowing around, which that's why I move the serranos up on top so that way um, the smaller peppers don't get blown all over the flipping place because you see that guy back there? He's moving just a little bit. Um, but yeah. So in eight and a half hours, we'll check it. Um, that'll put it at what? 11 45 midnight tonight. I'll check it, um, see if they're dry. If not, we'll let it run overnight, which these should be dry, dehydrated tonight, um, because they're not very big, they're not very thick. We'll check them tonight, and if so, we'll put them in the grinder and grind them up. And I've got a couple little mason jars we can put them in. But, guys, do you want to see the arrow garden right now? We have lettuce going. And it's looking fantastic. And my screen is all dirty because Brie had my phone earlier. And I like to stick it in and out of my pocket. So, look at this, you guys. What? Hold on. Let me clean you off. So you get the full effect. Like, you guys, these are the last of our cherry tomatoes because our um our good hearted tomato from proven winners it's reached the end it's got a couple little ones on there but i don't expect them to do much so we'll probably i'm probably gonna pull this and toss it today um but yeah so we have one two three four five different kinds of lettuce that came with the arrow garden this guy i transplanted from outside he looks like he's doing really good time will tell but i'm excited um, so this one with the big leaves that I've been pulling and putting on sandwiches and it's mwah, chef's kiss. Um, this one is red sails and these, this says it sprouts in four to eight days. These literally sprouted like we had green growth above their little, um, domes in like literally five days. It was insane. And this is how they are and we're on day 20 okay this one is Paris Island this one's really good I really like this one and this one's just got the red spots because it's baby lettuce um, the one back there back here is Rouge Rouge de Hiver I don't know. I know it's French, though, y'all. I know it's French. That. Oh. That guy. Um, the one that was in here was supposed to be Marvel of Four Seasons, but it's not growing at all. So, yeah. We're not going to worry about that one. Um, this big crunchy guy, this one is... Black Seeded Simpson. And I have, I've been picking from all of these, you guys, and putting them on sandwiches, and they are delicious. 
It's just something about being able to walk into your kitchen every day and pick your own lettuce. It's ridiculous. And then we have deer tongue. So yeah, and like literally to harvest it, you can just come up and pop it off there. And then, you know, you, have, you can make a little salad, you make a little snack, put it on your sandwiches. Super good. But yeah, I usually come through and when I make the sandwich, make my sandwich, I grab the big leaves. Like this one, I would grab this one, obviously this one, a couple of these, and then grab a couple of tomatoes and um, slice them puppies up. Which actually, we need to move these off of the arrow garden because they're nice and ripe now. So here, guys. What else can I give you updates on? I don't really know. Because we've got everything. The garden's basically winding down. Um, and it's really windy out there. Like, really windy. I'll show you guys. Like, it's a little crazy. Oh, from here you can kind of see Ida's flower garden. We really need to pull all the flowers, but they are literally still blooming. And then that yellow right there is our mums from last year that we got from Walmart or Lowe's. Walmart, Walmart. They're called garden or not garden mums, I think. And they're not supposed to come back, but they did. There's another one too, but it's closer to the house. You can't really see it. Um, but yeah, so her flower garden is still going insane. Marigolds, obviously, like you can see the marigolds right there. They're doing great. They're keeping up with this crazy weather. Our elephant ear out here, it needs to be um, dug up. Ooh. Shop about to lose your uh, trampoline. If that's your trampoline. It looks like it's your trampoline. It might be one of my neighbors. But yeah. So that's it for today, guys. We got the peppers processed. Um, we got them going in the dehydrator. I will give you an update tomorrow morning, later tonight, to see how they are. Hope everybody has a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you later. Bye.